everybody, welcome back to my uh, channel. I'm Ari Papernick, and if you've been following along and doing some of these lessons, I really want to thank you. It's always tough starting uh, a YouTube channel when there's uh, 70 million creators on the platform, um, but I've been going uh, steady here for the last uh, three, four weeks, and really appreciate the people that uh, have been tagging along on this ride. And if you're new uh, coming into this video for the first time, welcome and uh, feel free to check all the other videos. Um, this is uh, lesson number 24. Uh, so I got a good little uh, start on this, uh, just figuring out all the technicalities as I go. So hopefully the, the videos start to look a little clearer and a little bit better for you. So this lesson is going to incorporate um, six, the uh, runs of six. Um, there was three that I was basically focusing on, on uh, the little jam to the backing track. The first one was kind of like your brown eyed girl lick. You know? Okay, there was that one I did. I did that one. And the other one I was doing was this one. All right, so all of those... Um, include six and then uh, and then I was also doing a fall off one you know so instead of going forward you kind of go backwards um, so let's first just chat about what I mean by six uh, many of you might know but those that don't let's uh, get you on board it's just the interval of notes so let's take this one which is the start phrase of this lick we've got a B and a G well, if you go through the G major scale, you're going to count six uh, notes between the B and the G. So we got so one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our B and there's our G, right? And here we've got a C and an A. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is it's. The six is just the interval between the two notes. So the first one to learn, we can call it the brown eyed girl lick, is um, uh, in, in, if we're doing it over a G, would simply be uh, the middle finger on the G string on the B note and the uh, index finger on the uh, high G. Okay, so we've got that. And then we would use our third finger and our pinky over the C and the A. And then we would move up uh, two more frets to play the D over the B on uh, the seventh fret. So, okay. So if you were playing a G at the third fret position, you know, just some rhythm. It just kind of sweetens it up a little bit. So instead of you know just being stuck doing this, you know you can throw in. Okay, so you could just use that, and that's of course it's movable. You know, uh, if you went up to the C, your four chord, you know, you know, you just do it there. You start at the um, the uh, middle finger on the E note on the ninth, and your uh, index finger on the high C on the uh, E string. And then what you can do is you can work that lick backwards. So if you take the C one, the C lick up at the eighth fret. You know, you can. You can roll it back, so you go back a whole uh, a whole step, which would be to your seventh, to your B flat, your flat seventh, and then you would do the at the fifth um, uh, on the G string and the E over each other, and the same at the third playing the B flat, which is the flat seventh over the G. So, right, so it puts you in line for that lick right there in that position that's based off your index on the on the root note and um, that's all from the this shape chord which is 
which is your, your C chord, if you moved it up, if you pretended there was a bar and you moved it up, you know, uh, you have that, in, and you have all those steel bends in there, and we've gone over that on some other lessons, okay? So that'll take me to the next chord, but, so we've got this, these, these fifths, the brown eyed girl fifths, right? Right, and then you can roll it back. You saw me do it on uh, when I was playing at the backing track. I went up to the octave, right, and then you're right in that spot to do those uh, steel licks right there. So that's the one. Uh, well, as we said, we're calling it the Brown Eyed Girl uh, a run of six. Um, the next one is based off that chord again, that chord shape that C uh, chord in the cage system. We're gonna get to that later. So uh, I don't know if you need me to explain it. It's, it's explained countless times. But anyway, so if we, if we use that shape, we do this kind of thing where we roll, we fall back uh, a whole step to go into the seventh. So the flat seventh on a G is an F, right? And then we're in the middle of um, the neck here, or the, the strings, uh, instead of up on the E and the G, we're gonna be using the B string and the D string. And we're, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna keep that shape, but we're not really playing this D note. We're really just playing these notes. Now you can figure it that way too. It's usually, I'm comping a chord here, like the G chord. So I'm not gonna really change my fingering to this. I'm gonna keep it in this. So, you know, but these are the notes. So the notes are the same. It's, uh, it's G and B, which is the same as that lick, right? And then you're gonna go back uh, down a tone um, to F and A, and then you're gonna play the six of uh, G over E, and then F over D, right? Um, and it would sound like that. And you can kind of, you don't have to play them in order, you know. You know, you can slide, slide back and forth between this. That's kind of basically right here is two notes out of your G seventh. You got your, you got your D and your F. You know, your flat seventh there. You know, if you if you threw in the third, your there's your third on the G, right? So. So you can play between the two of them, you know, if you're just kind of comping. Right, you know, um, so those are those two, and they're movable everywhere, of course, you know, if you went to your C chord. You find the C note on the, on the, uh, on the B string. And you play your chord there, you know, your triad. Okay. And there's your, your C, A position there. So, you know, you can get into your C licks right there. And then you can fall off. Right? And, and then you've got another, um, you've got another set of six here that start that way so if we did it on the G it's, uh, I would play it with the fingering of the chord but it's really just this you know it's exactly the same shape as okay but you're just doing it in the middle of the strings instead of the high two you're basing it off the B and the D string so there's, it's just it's it's all over the neck so you basically you kind of got that one a G, right? And it's just where your hands are in the neck, where you're soloing. If you're soloing up there, you know, if you're soloing up in this spot here, you may not want to go down to here to play it, you know. It's more convenient to play it up at this spot, you know. Um, so it's just mixing them all up, you know. You,
you know, you're just mixing them all up. Okay, so then the next one of six that I do is based off the A shape. We stay in G. We're going to go all the way up to the 12th fret, and, you know, which is which is our G. And here's your your popular G bar chord that everybody knows. So you're basically you're going to be playing the B. Okay, and, and you're kind of double stopping because you're playing a little bit more than two notes. You're going to play three notes. You're going to hit that bass uh, on the third, and then you're going to use your fingers to hybrid pick uh, your second and your third if you're using a flat pick, and you're going to grab the B and the G. Okay? So as we know, the, um, the B to the uh, G is a six interval, right? So we go... Right? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're just going to add in a harmony note of that, uh, the B, which is kind of an octave, because we've got the B there, and we've got the B uh, up on the bass. Okay, so we're going to kind of pluck that B note on the bass, pull up with our fingers, and then we're going to do the same thing a step down, just like the other legs. And then we go to the flat seven. And then we do, um, we play the G and the E, uh, and we have the uh, G on the top. So we've got the two G's and we've got an E. That's the shape. So we've got uh, the index finger is on the B string on the eighth. Uh, we've got the second finger on the ninth on the G string. And we've got our low note G on the fifth at the tenth. And then we just roll that back uh, a full step. So we've got, okay, we'll do that again. And then we play basically a C, uh, the third on top, the E. Now here's our C shape, uh, you know, just our index finger across the fifth fret, you know, from our C bar chord. And we've got the E on the top. So we've got, down to the third fret and we're kind of playing the top two notes of the G triad and we're putting the D on the bass, the D on the fifth fret. So that's kind of the lift. Okay, those are the three kind of runs of six that I would use when I'm playing rhythm and uh, I would also incorporate them into soloing too. Um, you know, so you got, if you're in G, So that works great. Um, it really embellishes what you're doing rhythmically. So they're all movable. So when you go to your four chord, your C, you know, right? You know, in your D, same thing. So have fun with that. You can uh, work it into your rhythm playing or even your soul playing. All right. Well, thanks for uh, tagging along on this lesson. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Leave a comment, do a thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. Uh, looking forward to doing uh, my next lesson. And uh, take care. Have a great one. Bye.